Yo, 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 what it do, what it be, it's your boy, A&T, giving a little POV on history, rep the game gang, but I still changed my channel name, I'm cutting up like DDP, so don't change that channel, man, nah, I'm playing, I, I changed my name though, in case y'all didn't notice, or you're just new here, game gang ant wasn't the most catchy name, I'll admit, so I came up with ant's point of view, I'm A&T, this is my POV, I be giving insights on history, rap, sports, video games, and wrestling. I talk more about my name change and other topics in my last stream, which I'll leave a caption and quotation or whatever the fuck it's called in the top right or left corner, but enough about that. If you didn't notice the name change, then perhaps you didn't see the title of the video. But today I'm going to be talking about the Antikythera mechanism, and if you never heard of it, no, it is not some alien technology or some fictional weapon in a comic universe no 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 none of that see somewhere between 1900 and 1902 somewhere around there a captain by the name of Demetrios Contos he has no relation to Stelio Contos the fictional American dad character uh, Demetrios Contos and a crew of sponge divers discovered a shipwreck off the coast of a small Greek island named Antikythera now, during the excavation of this shipwreck, they found Greek sculptures, pottery, jewelry, and currency dating all the way back to 50, 60 AD, somewhere around that era. Not, 50, not 1960, 50, not 17, not 18, none of that. Just 50, 60 AD. That, this shit was almost 2,000 years old. Now, one thing that they found that was different from the rest of everything else was this large wooden box that had three separate pieces of, of a strange device that was covered in rocks and corrosion and rust and as soon as they pulled it out of the wreckage and you know and out of the water it started to disintegrate because of the oxidation so they really had to be careful moving it because they really had no idea with what they were dealing with now about two years after the discovery it was sitting you know in in the athens museum for about two years and an archaeologist by the name of valerio stace or stice i'm sure i'm butchering it i apologize but he found a piece of one of the fragments had a gear embedded in the rock now, this discovery attracted the, dis the attention of German phylogist Albert Brehm, who made critical discoveries about this odd mechanism in 1905 and 1906. He was actually the first one to theorize that, that what we were dealing with was actually an astronomical clock. Now, what the fuck is an astronomical clock? It is not some space or interdimensional clock or, or some sort of... Um, space mayan calendar as i as i was led to believe no 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 it, it it's actually kind of a lot cooler than that uh it basically tracks the movement of our solar system and other uh what are they called celestial bodies so this thing could track the movement of our solar system pretty much the moon the sun planets zodiacs and all that keep in mind this was found in early 1900 and all of this other stuff was dated at the, at the very beginning of you know the first century the only thing is astronomical clocks weren't seen until maybe 1300 in germany so either this thing was from a later shipwreck maybe that just so happened to get mixed in with all this other ancient these other ancient artifacts I mean, it, it could have been just a, a, a fake or the ancient Greeks had access to a technology that was lost for over a thousand years. Everything else on the shipwreck was genuine, though. It was straight. It, it was real. It was confirmed, you know, and the boat that the mechanism was found on was just really it was a simple merchant ship and it got caught up in, a, in an ancient storm, if you will. But, see, if this was a merchant ship 
and they were rolling around the seas with the world's first, I mean, GPS, why haven't we found more of these devices? You would think these would be on some kind of military ship or or, or, or someone with more affluent status or something. Or this would be found in like a tomb or something of a, of a high ranking noble or something. But no, this was just, you know, a merchant. And the fact that this thing could literally be a thousand years before its time and we've only found one it, it, it's incredible. I mean, the odds of it at this point are really one in a million because, or even higher than that. That's, I mean, there's we've only found one, and the one we have it is not in the best condition, as I as I kind of described. But archaeologists in the 1950s were able to determine that this strange device not only was from the same era as the rest of the shipwreck, but the gear embedded in the fragments was actually a part of it. Using the x-rays and some laser technology, they were able to see several sets of gears, around 64 to be exact, and it had dials and possibly handles at one point, kind of like a normal analog clock would. Only this thing could tell you what time it was, could tell you the day and month, like a calendar, could tell you what phase the moon was in, where the zodiac constellations were. I mean, calling this thing an ancient GPS really doesn't do it justice. I mean, this thing was really the world's first analog computer. And for how impressive this thing is or was, why haven't we found more? The only thing that I could think of is that the Antikythera mechanism took so much time and skill to create that only a few or possibly just a single one was made. How a merchant ship had it, is really crazy though. He, he had to have been like a Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos type merchant, or he knew somebody that was an engineer, or because not even just an engineer, an engineer who knew about, I mean, how the world worked. And it says he knew what when the constellations were going to be. He, you know, who knew how gears worked, had an advanced sense of how gears worked, obviously. And I mean, yeah, whoever this merchant knew, or even if it was the merchant himself, my my gosh, yeah, bro was on some next level about to change the world and then got swept up in a storm. Like, imagine that, you have the world's only computer and then you get the shit wet. Tragic. And we don't know the identity of the merchant and we don't know if he built it. So, of course, the next question is who really built this ancient marvel of science technology and, and pure craftsmanship some speculate that the machine's design actually came from none other than archimedes himself and in 1974 british physicist and historian of science derek j de sola price published a paper after 20 years of research and during that research he discovered re uh, writings from the ancient greek politician cicero that describe a similar device that Archimedes had built that could predict the motions of the sun, moon, and the five planets that the Greeks knew about at the time. Now, this device, or Archimedes' blueprints for it, have never been found. They're lost to history. And even though Archimedes lived hundreds of years before the Antikythera mechanism was made, he may have had a hand in its original design. A another discovery that Price made was when they did another x-ray of the uh, the mechanism and use lasers and all that it revealed greek writings on on the machine or whatever it was on on some of the dials and and, the, and such and it translated to zodiac systems and other planets in greek so basically albert rem's theory of it being an ancient astronomical clock was surprisingly spot on now that we know how much you know or what pretty much what the purpose was of the antikythera mechanism that still leaves the lingering questions of who built this amazing piece of ancient science and technology and not only that but where when and how was this thing created now there are some theories uh we don't know exactly when this thing was built we kind of have a a, a basic a kind of a, a rough estimate of when it could have been built or where it could have been built we do know it was somewhere you know in the greek islands probably corinth or i think it's rhodian or something like that i think that might be a a, a mineral but I, I, i'm tripping but uh those questions will never probably be answered unless we find writings 
or blueprints referencing this amazing artifact or maybe there's more pieces of it and in, in more maybe there's an instruction manual in a tablet on the bottom and we just haven't found it yet or something i don't know or a scroll somewhere uh but maybe some of the, some of the answers are at the bottom of the antikythera coast uh the same sea it was found in until one or or both are discovered or all the a combination of all those i just mentioned the antikythera mechanism will remain another mystery of history and i hope you enjoyed this episode of history's mysteries if you did go ahead and leave a like leave a comment subscribe ring the damn bell you can click the bells you know so you can stay tuned for all the hot content that i got dropping soon you can follow me on twitter at ant underscore 303 so you don't miss none of my streams I'm just giving y'all my pov but i still rep the g-a-m-e g-a-n-g that's the game gang you know we don't play none of that all of that it's me it's me it's a n t i'm back y'all you know like i never left back for the first time it's ludicrous you feel me but uh yeah y'all be safe don't get smoked i'm out peace